everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video I am so looking forward to uploading for you all because I have never done one of these videos before like properly like showing you what the makeup looks like on and I'm so excited you can see I've done most of my makeup except for my eyes and my highlight I don't know how well it's being picked up on camera but today I am trying out one of my favorite high street slash drugstore brands in my super drug oh my god they're my holy grail brands pretty much as you could see by the title i'm reviewing the mua lux range now i've only got two things from their range i know they've got an eye primer and maybe another eyeshadow trio i'm not sure but they do have some other like items in their collection but these are the only two i own this might be called like a cheating one because you all know if you're frequent watchers of my channel i love this but it's just still part of the range and I thought, you know what, if in case you don't watch my videos, then, you know, you won't know that I absolutely love it. But al already I mentioned that the packaging is not the best, but it is really, really affordable and budget friendly. So this is the MUA Lux 5 Silk Eyeshadows and Enchanted. And then this is the MUA Lux Glow Beam Liquid Highlight Cushion. I've never even tried the concept of a makeup product with a cushion ever so I know cheaper might not always be better but I love MUA as a brand so I cannot wait to try this I'm more excited about this because I've never tried this before this I love so in case as I said you don't watch my you didn't watch my everyday makeup look and watch my October favorites and stuff like that I wanted to show you what I thought of it anyway so yeah if you want to see my MUA Lux review please keep watching I'm sorry for the reflective of the glass but I'm gonna start with this sort of peachy sort of colour and I'm going to put that all over my lid and the mirror in this is really handy I use it all the time for my eye makeup and these are really pigmented like so pigmented and they're so soft on the eyes so the name Silk is definitely true I do build this base colour up because I feel the stronger this is the stronger the other colours I'm going to put on top of it are but that is beautiful in my opinion absolutely love it next up i'm going to go in with this really pale shimmery pink because it's not too pigmented but for the inner corner it looks really really pretty so this is probably the least pigmented in the whole palette but as a little subtle glow in the inner corner it is buildable and i sort of want a natural inner corner highlight i will at the end of this video zoom in so you can see it properly Next up, I'm going to go in with this sort of moon slash opal shade here next to the very sparkly pink. And this is once again sort of like a highlight colour. And I'm going to put it in the middle of my lid. Because with the other colours, it blends so nicely. Like this whole palette is so pretty and it's so natural as well. Like you can build it up for a nighttime look and have it nice and subtle an everyday look so yeah that's what that moonstone sort of opal shade looks like so i'm gonna sort of use this plummy slash burgundy purpley color mix there but this color here and i'm gonna put that in the crease and i'm actually gonna use this color blending brush that i've got because i feel it's the best for crease so i've just got a nice amount on my brush i'm just literally just blending it through now it just gives a bit of contrast to the rest of the colors and I think to have a colour like this, I would never normally touch a colour like this in a palette, but they have made it such a nice colour. Like, obviously I'm going to put another colour through my crease and on the lid, so it looks quite purpley now, but I think it's beautiful. So I put it through the crease and blended it a bit on my lid, and obviously there's a bit of fallout, but nothing that a good sort of like sweep and a bit of concealer won't fix. I'm going to go in with this goldy shade. I'm going to blend that through the crease and onto the lid with this Lamora blending brush. I love this brush. It's amazing for this. Um, anyway, don't have any brushes as far as I know, but when they do, I will be one of the first to buy them because, you know, it might change the result, but my brushes seem to be okay with the product. So, yeah. Just, they're so nice and creamy well, not creamy exactly but soft and really blendable they remind me of really sort of like they remind me of cream shadows but they're not cream shadows if you know what I mean but I love it it doesn't have to be really neat at this point and I don't really make it neat is when I tidy up afterwards but 
as you can see like that is quite a pigmented finish and I think for £6 and from MUA you really can't go wrong with just picking it up and trying it. So that is the end result with the eyeshadow. I absolutely love this palette. I would recommend it to anybody that's asking me what sort of recommended eyeshadow palette would you recommend from the drugstore um, slash high street and I definitely recommend this. I believe MUA is only available from Superdrug but you can get it offline or you can go into your local store but this is amazing. Out of five I would definitely recommend definitely recommend I would definitely rate this a five out of five next for the highlight cushion I am worried but also very very excited and I'm gonna use this Primark stippling brush never really use it properly except for setting under eyes so I thought it'd be good for patting it out and then I can just blend it but basically the packaging is really nice I think it's just it feels good quality so it's got the sort of nice symmetric sort of pattern then you've got this puffer which I suppose I should use but I don't really want to but yeah, you've got that in there, which I think is nice. And then you just open that out, okay? Um, and that's what it looks like. I think it's really, ooh, that's really goldy actually. Try and put it, oh wow, that's so gold. I don't know whether I'm gonna like that, oh dear me. It's really blendable though, from what I can see on my arm. I don't know whether you can see it now, but it's not the most pigmented highlight. And I tend to like subtle slash obvious highlights, which can be hard to find, but that is so gold. I don't know whether I'm going to like that, but let's just give it a go. I don't know how much to put on my brush. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at that. And let's just hope for the best. So I'm going to start on this side. Mm, I'm not a big fan of that. It doesn't really show up too much it's given it a bit of a glow but then half of that I'm thinking is that my studio light but no it's given a bit of a glow but it's very goldy if you like gold highlights I think you might like this but it's oh my goodness that is so gold I don't know just uh, it's quite sticky I don't yeah, that is really sticky and very tacky feeling. I don't know. I don't really like that, which is a shame because I was really expecting to like it because it's like a cushion product and I've never tried one of those before, but definitely disappointed with that because it's really tacky and sticky feeling to the skin. Um, I don't know, like it's buildable, like pigment, but I don't. I don't really like that, to be honest. So, out of everything, I really love this. Five out of five for this. After even letting it set, or dry, whatever you want to call it, the cushion highlight, it's still quite sticky and tacky to the skin, and I don't know, it's definitely not my favourite product at all. So, I'm going to rate this a two out of five, which might sound harsh, but... It's a nice colour once you've built it up, as you would have seen with the close-up shot. It's not the nicest feeling on the skin. I can still feel it on my skin and with a highlight. That's not what I like. And with liquid highlights, cream highlights, I've tried them before and I've never felt like this on my skin, if that makes sense. So, I don't know. I might try it again in the future, but this is definitely not a product that I'm going to rave about. This, however, the eyeshadow palette, I'm definitely going to rave about this. This is amazing. I love the colours and to me... It creates the perfect eye look but this not so much it's too gold for me I prefer sort of like light silvery slash a bit of gold but not this this is literally like gold um, so yeah I'm not a big fan of it this side looks a bit better than this side um, don't know if it was the brush I was using but yeah don't really like this but love this thank you so much for watching I'm so excited because it's my first ever review and sort of like showing what they look like on the face sort of video so I hope you enjoyed it and yeah I will see you very soon. Please don't forget to smash a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And in the comments if you want to put any requested videos or if you just want to have a conversation with me because that'd be amazing and I love talking to you guys. So yeah, I'll see you very soon. Bye!